Warm like stringy creatures peacefully gliding through water. They seem calm and almost a bit clumsy. Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce you to Spirostomum ambiguum, the so-called giant marsh worm. But please don't get fooled by this nickname. Spirostomum is a unicellular ciliate. Spirostomum is around 2 to 4 mm in length and can be found at the bottom of many ponds. Its rather big size makes it a single cell visible to the naked eye. Just to get some perspective, an average rotifer, a microscopic animal, is around one-fourth of a millimeter long, but it consists of a thousand cells, while Spirostomum is just one single cell. It is a giant for a microbe. Spirostomum might look a bit creepy and might trigger some phobias in some people, but other than that it is completely harmless and simply filters bacteria from the surrounding water. Spirostomum ciliates are a bit like microscopic cows, just peacefully grazing. But now imagine a cow that suddenly and explosively contracts with an acceleration of 140 meters per second squared. Sounds hilarious, but, well, Spirostomum is exactly the cow that can do that. These contractions can happen in less than 5 milliseconds. An average blink of an eye is around 150 milliseconds. Spirostomum contracts 30 times faster than that, exposing its cell to up to 14 g of acceleration. It is just unbelievable how the giant cells of Spirostomum can withstand this force without taking any serious damage. These impressive contraction speeds are achieved by myonemes, fibrous structures within the cell that contract explosively when they are exposed to calcium ions. After each contraction, it takes them around one full second to reset the fibers. What makes this process even more remarkable is that Spirostomum can repeat these explosive contractions over and over, until now it has not been clarified exactly after how many consecutive contractions the cells take damage. This superpower has caught the interest of scientists who want to create tiny super-fast robots. Well, okay, interesting enough, but how do this contraction exactly help Spirostomum to survive? Let's investigate with some demonstrations. For example, if I hit the lab table, Spirostomum can feel the impact and the cells react immediately. The contractions in this case are definitely a defensive response. In the wild, this might help to avoid predators. In the next example, Spirostomum is reacting to some salt dissolving in water. Salt is poisonous to the ciliate. As soon as the cells get into contact with the salt solution, they contract. In this case, the contraction is a stress reaction, possibly even to warn other Spirostomum cells. Some research has shown that these contractions, in fact, might be a way of communication the rapid contraction of a spirostomum cell causes a microscopic shock wave in the surrounding water that can be felt by neighboring cells, causing them also to contract. Sometimes these trigger waves from one individual can cause an entire swarm of spirostomum to contract in perfect synchronicity. This echo of several hundred cells contracting at once might be used as a far-reaching warning signal or as a rallying call to other spirostomum cells spread out in the pond further away. These contractions might also be used to coordinate synchronized toxin release to fend off bigger predators. Other smaller microbes use chemical means to communicate. Spirostomum seem to use mechanical means for communication. At a larger scale, like for example, the spirostomum scale, chemical communication is rather slow, like for example quorum sensing, often found in bacteria. The water wave communication might be an upscaled version of quorum sensing to communicate quickly over bigger distances in ponds. This communication theory is very plausible because spirostomum is a social ciliate. Several times a day, hundreds of these creatures gather in blob-like colonies. It is not clear what the purpose of these gatherings are. One possible explanation for these gatherings might be sexual reproduction or also exchange of some nutrients. There are so many open questions about this creature. Spirostomum is absolutely fascinating. I'm really so curious to find out more about these peaceful microgiants. If you like to, please join me on the next adventure and let's find out more about it. Thank you so much for watching. Let's dig up some more dirt 
and let's stay curious. Bye-bye.